It's definitely raising eyebrows. Uh, Lisa, you had an interesting conversation recently with James Comer. Mm -hmm. So what was some of the insight that you got? Well, real quick before I get to that, I was thinking about this today. So remember, all we heard was Russia, 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 Russia mm -hmm. stole the 2016 mm -hmm. election, yada, yada, yada. And then what it really just turned out to be a manufactured hit job. And then now what we're learning is a pretext to spy on Americans and then to try to rig the 2020 election. But, uh, yeah, so I talked to James Comer and I asked him because obviously with Merrick Garland, they're going to meet resistance at the DOJ and the FBI is, FBI is probably not going to play ball as they issue subpoenas. And so I asked him about that and he said that their focus is really going to be looking at private businesses, private sector people. They think they're going to have more success there and trying to get information because, you know, they're not going to get the same assist that the January 6th committee has gotten with, you know, Steve Bannon looking at four months in jail for contempt of Congress charges. So uh, he said they're going to be looking at private sector. So I would assume that, you know, Facebook, Twitter, all these guys are going to be on the receiving end of some subpoenas. Yeah, 